See, I think, first of all, I, IoT is not some magic world. Uh, you know, I mean, this is something which has been talked about for the last 20, 30 years, right? Ultimately, uh, you know, data is coming from some, you know, SIM card, which is using GPRS to throw data about the machine. So first and foremost, fundamentals in my mind are very important. Who are the kind of guys that we are looking at? Who are just fundamentally on technical skills and basic understandings very, very smart? I'm not here looking for somebody who has a knowledge about uh, some specific language and saying, oh, I need somebody with just that kind of a language skill to come on board. I mean, that's secondary. It comes later. First and foremost is how fundamentally sound and sharp the person is, how inquisitive the person is. Right? Is the person able to think ground up on first principle basis? Um, you know, languages and technologies are tools, right? And is the person able to appreciate the impact of the work that is going to do? You know, we, we don't want people who are just carried away by, uh, you know, um, just fancy names, right? Uh, Hadoop and so on, and I'm, I'm an expert in this. We want people who, of course, know this stuff, but are more curious and excited about the impact. Right. So um, my advice to people is just think about the impact, uh, you know, uh, be excited about the impact of the technology that you are uh, learning or uh, getting exposed to. And if it uh, if you're able to truly connect to its impact, that's when you will be really, really better and sharper. And don't just go in creating a resume which says that you know six, five, seven languages because the best of the companies, even a smaller company of our size, is not going to go for those people. It's very clear. Right.